Hallows is in possession of the map, aye. But that ain't the end of it. Not by a long mile. For me it is. And a good riddance. We knows where Treasure Island lays. We ask the bearings. I tell you again, I sail to Mexico to my forest. Been away too long. That's it. Time. That's the nub of the matter, don't you see? Hallows has to find a ship, fit her out, muster a crew. And so? It'll cost him time. Time enough for us to haul along to Treasure Island, set up snug in the old stockade. Wait. Hallows. I'll step ashore alone. You may lay to that. And we'll take him and his map, and we'll find Flint's diamonds in an hour. I won't make money, I earn it. With these. I've the run of you, I reckon, Dutchman. <laughs> you ain't a man to chase after gold. No. Freedom. That's your creed. And mine too, by the powers. But lest he has a whole heap of gold to bite, there ain't any freedom in this world for any man. You understand nothing of me. Nothing of me. But I know you. And I know you're kind. That to you and your buccaneer gold. Jim, will you stand by and let Hallows take the prize? Him that robbed you and blackened your name? No, I won't. Which is why I'm for England by the swiftest passage. To clear my name. Good, everybody. You understand now, maybe. This is my boat. I decide. Remarkable. Hawkins shoots Captain Williams. How very convenient. Are you certain he's dead? Gaines and I each fired at him as he went over the cliff. We stayed for fully five minutes and saw no sign of him. <laughs> and the map? Safely under lock and key. As is this most incriminating document. My dear Lord Charles, so long as we understand each other. I think we do. Good. Then, there's only one piece of unfinished business. Uh, what's the fellow's name? Ben Gunn? Oh, he's half-footed. Perhaps. But I want him flushed out and silenced. See to it, then. Whatever you say, Lord Charles. And supposing Jim Hawkins did fall off this hill. Well, if he weren't dead afore he fell, he's alive now. And I'll tell you for why. For the reason that Jim Hawkins were the strongest swimmer in all of the West Country. So let's pull away off this air cliff. To be sighted from above? <sighs> oh, we must hug the coast, man. Ain't none but the birds of the air to sight us here, Reverend. So don't you fear. Reverend, look! Huh? Steer over there! There! What is it? A keg! A keg of grog with the name of the Dutchman's craft! Huh? <laughs> but this proves nothing. Well, what does it prove? Prove? I don't know nothing to prove, Reverend. But this little beauty, she speaks. Aye, like as if she had a tongue. Aye. And what does she say, says you? The Dutchman's craft were here off this very point. That's what she says. And if she were here, then Jim Hawkins found her. And if Jim Hawkins found her, Jim Hawkins is aboard her, safe for all. And there you have Ben Gunn's oath on it. Now, you're a singular young man to be sure, and no mistake. Here's you with your freedom won, and you with a face like a tombstone. 
I'm gonna have no cause to smile when I reach land. I reckon you can count on Jim Hawkins to see you right. Then I'll be Master Hawkins' slave. That will never happen to you, boy. And freedom don't give you license to blackguard a true man. I'm not saying no bad things about Master Jim. But you tell me. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Ain't no place in the world for a black man. Nah, that ain't exactly the case. Not by my cognizance, leastways. But maybe you know better. <laughs> ah, black skin ain't no help. But it ain't no absolute hindrance either. Why? I mean, there were a black woman once kept her tavern in Bristol. In England? In England, I. A shanty she were. Took by the slavers when she were no more than a chit of a girl. She ran away. Ah, there weren't an older in the Caribbean could hold her, boy. The spirit she had in her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Aye. And she was the hostess of the Spyglass Inn, and held to be a lady by one and all. And her name? Were Mrs. John Silver. You took a black woman to wife? I did. In her church, too. We are passing and quiet, all proper. She had her place in the world, boy. For she built it. Aye. Out, out of her own wit and fortitude. She dead now, Master Silver? Till daybreak. All right. And Jim, keep watch. Yeah. Good night. Search outside. What is the meaning of this outrage? I warrant. Signed by the governor. The devil take your warrant. You are harboring a wanted oh. man, one bench and gun. Fiddlesticks. A direct lie from a man of the top. Have a care. Which you should take care, sir. Molesting and insulting a minister of the church. Oh, you'll rue this night's work, sir. So you will. Benjamin Gunn is an accessory to murder. If you're sheltering it, it'll be your neck, Morgan. You'll find no benefit of clergy in Jamaica. Gaines! <laughs> benefit of clergy, indeed. Blasphemous dog! Sorry to murder. <laughs> Trumped up fiddle faddle. <laughs> yeah! Oh, 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 oh Ben. Mm -hmm. Fine, clear night, Jim. <sighs> A man can look at the stars and ponder on the mysteries of fate. What are you after now? Jim, that ain't worthy of you. I've no mind to persuade you to do nothing. Glad to hear it. Not that you don't know me. 
But I ain't collecting on the dead. Mark you, it's a small thing I'm asking. Just for you to alter a course a point or two. That's all. There's an island, Jim. Machado, she's called. Lies due westward. Not more than six hours sailing. I've friends there, Jim. All shipmates. And the Bracken sets the course. Van der Bracken. Yeah? What do you have to say of Van der Bracken? Uh, you ain't a cabin boy anymore, Jim. Will you take orders from him? Maybe he will. Change course. Ten points to westward. I want to be rid of you, Silver. Because I'm a fool, I let you live. So I see you to the devil. I take you to Machado. Take the gun. Thanks. I wish you good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. I think you have need of it. What does he mean? Ain't too late to change your mind. It's a port of Hallows Ridge. That's what irks me. That map's no use without you to read it. You told me so often enough. Aye, but Hallows will turn every blessed stone. He'll have Flint's gems if it takes him a year. their hero back to the crow's nest. Crow's nest? And what would that be? We name our little island paradise in honour of our new duke. Is that right? And who would he be? Well, you know him, John. <laughs> he knows you. It's the Frenchie, Captain Corbeau. The old crow himself. Captain Corbeau, is it? And you too. <laughs> And what gaggler half-baked fools? Elected Corvo. <laughs> Stay. I'll announce you. button in this place. <laughs> him with a pretty face goes by the name of Keel Hall. Whatever else you do, don't you look him in the eye. Hey. <laughs> Hail to the Duke. Prodigal return. <laughs> 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 
Well, why, there's some books, handsome as ever. How do you do, Sam? And Santini. <laughs> And a fair host of old shipmates, but it does me hard good to see. <laughs> and Frenchy Corbo. What's Duke now? So I'm informed. Well, now, there's promotion. May we be informed to what we owe the pleasure of this visit. What do you reckon? Enlightenment. Well, I ain't come for me health, that's for sure. <laughs> Nor for old acquaintance, although that pertains to it. Now, I'm here, as you'd expect, on business. Most advantageous business to one and all. You come here with strangers. It is against the sacred law of the Brotherhood. I see no advantage in that. Free, he brings. A Dutchman, a prime slave, and this pink young puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, you amaze me that you, of all men, should wish to sign your own warrant of execution. But the law is the law. Hang them. Hang them all. Relieve! Ah! Blabber lore! To Long John Silver! Ye misbegotten mongrel dog! I were duke here when you were swabbing decks! Took my oath in blood afore your mother whelped you! I knows the law! Where's your muster? Where's your vote? Where's your black spot? Is there any man here present who will step forward and deny John Silver? The right of trial by counsel of the Brotherhood according to the articles? Then so be it. He'll be the saving of us. Nah. You see. I think maybe you never learn. <laughs> this must be taken to the Secretary of State by King's Messenger immediately the Saracen docks in Bristol. I'll never be persuaded. Jim Hawkins is responsible for Williams' death. Never. Final decision rests with the secretary for the colonies. Lord Charles, confess it. You don't believe it either. Alas, I have no view other than the official one. I understand you leave tomorrow morning. Yes. Well, then I wish you a fair wind and a prosperous voyage, Captain. Good day, sir. Good day to you, Captain Parker. Well, Mr. Gunn is proving elusive. But never fear, the net is tightening. Mm -hmm. The impudence of it! The blasphemy of it! Spying on the house of God! Well, there's no help for it. Captain Parker's your man. We must get you aboard his ship. Duke's order. Maybe you should serve it to me. Hmm? Maybe later. The Duke's woman. Not me. I'm nobody's woman.
What did I say? By the power of hell. It seems the liquor has gone to rack and ruin along with everything else. Corbo, he keep the good stuff for himself. Do we now? Meg? Yes, Massa? You fetch us a bottle of true grub out of this slop here. Fine, Jamaica. Anything you say, Master Silver. <laughs> I better sniff of the breeze what's blowing here, and it ain't pleasing. We ain't took a prize worth shot and powder in a twelve month. Is that right? Then why the devil ain't you tip Corbo the black spot? For a good reason. And what might that be, Keelhaul? If any of you are minded to side with this old cripple against Corbeau, think again. Old oh, cripple, is it? I'll challenge any man here, young or old, to come to close grips with me ten gold pieces to his one! <laughs> 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 what did you expect, my friend? From you? Swift measures. Oh, I will take measures. Swift enough. And sure. Smart as you're pretty, <laughs> and no mistake. I play my part. What of yours? Well, now, as to that, if there be a soul hereabouts, man, woman, or child, that ain't mustered to see John Silver come to close grips, then I'll drink bilges. I mean, I'll bargain. You as my word. John Silver's word is his bond. Started. He'll be Duke again by sunrise. Quick, John. Push. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. You can do it. You can do it. A privilege. Long John Silver, you have an arm like iron. <laughs> I'll give you a word of counsel, matey. When you see a man with one leg, look to his arm, for you'll find it still by reason of necessity, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who's next to try his grip with an old cripple? <laughs> Ooh, that's big job. Are you ready? Give it to that long John. Huh? I like you, Pepe. You're so strong. Women. <laughs> if Jukobo find out. He won't he watch the creeps like everybody. Duke, my power requires no testing. But you're his right hand, seemingly. And that'd be a test, I reckon. <laughs> Too proud, be you? Like the Duke? <laughs> or are you afeard? <laughs>
I reckon it's not, Jim. Corbeau. No cause to fret about him. He's finished, matey. He's sunk. How could you could get a full sunrise? God bless you, Jim. Let's cut along now. Come on, Jim. Go on, Jim. Silver, step forward. John Silver, you stand impeached before the Council of the Brotherhood. What say you? I submit to the vote and demand to know the name of my accuser according to the articles. Captain Corbeau is your accuser. I charge John Silver with treason against the Brotherhood. I charge that Silver aided the prisoners in their escape. Well, no. It were last night that they slipped their cable. My recollection is that I were at close grips at the time. And I dare swear there's one or two here present who'll bear witness to that. <laughs> and after? <laughs> after? Well, I... I shipped a bottle to a grog aboard and then... Well... Well, I'm man enough to own it. My recollection fails me! <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, you opposed the execution of the prisoners. I did. And today? I ain't changed my opinion. Ah! And I'll tell you why. It's wanton waste, that's why. Hang a rich Dutchman, what'll ransom princely, and a pride slave what'll fetch his price. I call that improvident. Hang Mr. Hawkins here with a heap of flint's gold to buy his life. <laughs> I calls that spendthrift. And put a rope around the prettiest neck in the Caribbean. Why, I call that downright reckless! <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, this Hawkins, th the same Hawkins, assailed with the Devonshire squire, what lifted flint's gold? I am. The gold. Aye, they took the gold, but the stones, flints, diamonds, rubies, sapphires. We never knew of their existence. They lays there still, and every blessed one of them worth a dozen prizes! So no, you knows my business. There's a king's fortune for every man which sails with me to Treasure Island! <laughs> I says we take the vote. No! All those for silver. The fool's you, it's all lies. Lies, fools, I tell you, he lies. Mate, mate. 
I further propose silver for Duke and that Torbeau be deposed. What say you? Aye! 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 Black spot, Corvo. I demand my riders Duke to single combat. He has the right under the articles. And amen, say I. Good luck, John. Good luck, Master Silver. Silver. Don't worry, my friend. He's a butcher. I, a surgeon. My father was sword master to the King of France. Obliged, Sam. <laughs> well done, John. Well done. Well done, John. I think we owe our lives to you. <laughs> A little more patience, Lord Charles. I've been patient. Have your reward before noon. Has it occurred to you that the Saracen sails at noon? I wager Ben Gunn attempts to stir away. Which is precisely why I'm confident that he'll be taken before noon. Ben Gunn's ready to cast off now, Reverend. We're supporting their fools. What if they're not? Now, don't you go agitating yourself, Reverend. Ben Gunn, he'll work the trick. And here's to good luck. Oh, that's... 
Justice. Grant this stay humble servant of practical charity in this representable way. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Aye, sir. Well, let's ask. What in the name of... Where is he? I've given you fair warning, Gallows. <laughs> this is an outrage against the cloth. Do you hear me, sir? An outrage, I say. No. Oh. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? For the last time, Morgan, where have you hidden him? Will you commit an assault on a minister of the church in broad daylight, sir? Will you? Lord Charles Devereux notwithstanding. Let him go! Let him go up. Down the key. Do you hear me? Do you hear me, you scoundrel? You to choose, Keelhall. I'm Duke by acclamation. By deception. By lies. Where's your map, Silver? <laughs> and when your loyal followers discover that you have no map, what will you tell them then? What I told Bokes and Santini and the others. The Flint's maps in the possession of one Joshua Hallows. And that Hallows will fetch up at Treasure Island as sure as the sun rises. And we'll be there in the Dutchman's craft, awaiting for him. Silver, I think I kill you now. Kill the Duke? <laughs> I reckons not. You men take my water. Take my salt beef. That don't mean nothing. You're free to go. But there ain't no cause to rush now, is there? <laughs> I'll speak to him. Speak to him. I say again, it's for you to decide. So be it then. I'm your man. 
Duke Silva. <laughs> Silver. Jim, that's a dangerous man. Keelhole he were by Captain Flint and his crew, hence his name. Only man I ever knew that were keyholed and lived. You gave me your word. Did I, Jim? Well, now that we're under a particular set of circumstances, as you might say. It may be as how them same circumstances no longer pertains. To me too. You gave your word to Conchita. Thank you. 